name is Julie King and I am the market manager here at the Chestertown Farmers Market. Um, we have recently moved back downtown after being located uptown at East Coast Storage for eight weeks. Um, it's going really well and we are really excited to show you what it's about. Um, I think a few of the challenges have been um, has well we need just being a presence here, being consistent, um, it's pretty much stayed the same. I'm seeing a lot of the same regular people, which is always good to see them. Um, if it has, if sales have dropped off a little bit, it's probably because people have decided, you know, to put in their own gardens and, and grow their own stuff. But for the most part, it's been about the same. All right. I like the new layout. Um, it's very cohesive. We were previously located um, at Fountain Park on Park Row, and we moved to High Street um, on both two blocks of High Street so vendors on both sides and the vendors like it because they can park and set up their wares to sell and they don't have to lug and pack and there's room for everyone so and everybody is socially distant it's very safe people are wearing their masks the response by the community has been um, overwhelmingly positive I would say people love to see the market back um, they love that it's here they love that they're able to buy all their local goodies so it's been great. So well, I think when the market initially closed down, there was a little bit resistance because when the market closed, it implied that farmers markets weren't essential. Um, but in reality, farmers markets were essential, especially in this pandemic. Um, we have to provide food to people and the farmers are growing things. So we needed to, to move the product. So there was a little bit of resistance. There was resistance at first, but for the most part, um, I think people came around and came to understand that farmers markets are essential and they do have a purpose. The most, we have a few new vendors from last year. Um, for the most part though, the vendors have stayed the same. It's been a little bit difficult accepting new vendors just because we've had to, just with the pandemic and not really sure what's going on. And also with spacing, it, it can get a little bit challenging to fit new vendors in. Um, the Chestertown Farmers Market, last year uh, we accepted uh, food stamps. It's uh, the program formerly known as food stamps. It's currently now known as SNAP, and it's administered by the USDA, and SNAP stands for Supplemental Nutri Nutritious Assistant Program, and it's geared towards low-income families to help them, enable them to purchase quality food instead of uh, junk food. And the SNAP program, um, like I said, is funded by the USDA. And it was recently expanded to be accepted at farmer's markets here in Maryland. And uh, Chestertown was one of the first ones to ramp that up and accept the uh, SNAP cards. The SNAP card, it's a card that's a debit card. And it's not accepted directly by each individual vendor, but they come to the, our, our SNAP booth and we, we process it and we give them coins to spend just like regular cash here at the farmer's market. So the SNAP program was suspended. Uh, Julie's been working very hard to get to go jump through all the hoops to get it reestablished. Um, but we hope to be online by the end of the month. So to to uh, assist them in to buy quality produce with their SNAP card, there are two other programs. One's called WIC, W-I-C, um, Women, Infant and Children. And that's for low to moderate, moderate income moms with children less than five years old, where they're given vouchers. So they can use this voucher to buy food here as well. The third layer that really differentiates our market from others is that we have the Maryland market money, which when they use their SNAP card and they spend it, they get $5 of these additional dollars of these coins to spend. When they use a voucher through the WIC program, it's a matched thing. They spend 10 bucks, we give them an, an additional $10. So it really gives them the ability to buy good quality produce and, and products here. Um, and it's, it really subsidizes them beautifully. Um, and it's not just low income families. It's not just um, uh, low income to moderate moms with less than five years old children. It's also for senior citizens. SNAP has a, a, a subset that is good for seniors. And we saw all we saw all three of those groups here at the farmers market last year.